All right, guys, short, short video. So um, I moved all the breeders over here and divided this in half with some cheap avian netting since it's uh, temporary. So all the hens are on this side, even the uh, the race team, I divided them up. So all the hens are on, or over here, uh, most of which are outside. All the cocks are over here. There's Rocky Balboa right here. So all the boys are over here living yes hello so yeah so all the breeders are divided up so that's going to be like that for the time being um i am going to be making the sections in here bigger this one i'm going to bring out to two feet to about here or here you know somewhere around there and then divide it this way and this section here is going to come pretty much to there um they're gonna have like all of in here and uh so we can fly old birds out of this side since my 2023 birds are trap trained here already and then the 2024 young birds we're gonna do on this side and we'll trap train through there so if you come out here uh-oh it is moved and it was not easy, so there's uh, part of my destruction. But um, I moved it over here. It was not easy. Um, I basically took the front off, and then I cut it in half with a sawzall. Uh, you know, I didn't cut the lumber. I cut all the screws with the sawzall right down the middle. Because those of you who are here from the beginning know that that side was the only loft we had the very original and then i made it bigger and now we're making it bigger again so i decided to move it over here because i have more room to work now um now i can double it i'm gonna come out to almost the, the front of the of here which is another four or five feet i'll probably do four feet because uh then the wood goes further instead of cutting in, in odd numbers and um yeah so this will be eight by eight and then i'm going to divide it in half uh with wise for hens and cocks i'm going to basically make like a nice this is lower so on this side when i'm done i'm gonna make like a nice sliding door that i can slide back and um and open it up for breeding season once we have all the pairs settled and uh nice big aviary on the front and um i'm gonna do probably an aviary on this side in the front and i'll have a door here for me to get in and then on this here on this back wall on the back we'll have another aviary so um i kind of have to do it that way because um there's not a lot of room over here. I mean, I could I could put a door here, I guess. Uh, it would have to be a sliding door. But I, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But, um, yeah, that's the plan. So this is going to be much bigger. Um, this was a pain to move. After I cut it in half, I basically rolled it over here. And then the ground slopes a lot. So I have it set up on some some bricks with some this is like all temporary just to get it level so now i know where it needs to be and um now i can do it a little nicer with some with the cinder blocks make it a little better but uh it's it's level for now and uh hopefully it stays level i just wanted to get it level then put it back together so i can level the whole thing at one time with better bricks uh, i just went to lowe's and picked up all my lumber uh my, I picked up all the two by fours today. I didn't pick up the plywood because I can't fit both in the car. So um, I figured today I'll, I went and got the two by fours and then I'm gonna start, I'll frame out the floor and then I will go get the, the plywood floor and then I'll start building the walls and the, the roof and everything. And uh, yeah, man, the progression that this has taken in such a short time. I mean, you guys, like I said, to, for those of you here in the beginning, I mean, I only had that, a four by four loft, little aviary, like eight pigeons. And now, uh, I mean, we've got a nice, nice bevy of, of pigeons going on over here. Got some really nice birds, some birds who performed really well. Uh, some new breeders for this year that I got over the summer. You see the boys fighting. They're not, uh, 
there's the big Wolverine over there chasing everybody around, telling everybody he's the boss. He's a 2023 bird. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some fun this winter. We're gonna get everything more properly set up to breed, and um, you know, try to do this right. The yard is a disaster right now. I totally destroyed it doing all this, but uh, that's okay. I'll clean it up in time. And um, yeah, where is she? It's that red check right there is uh, my ironclad clad hen that I bought this winter. So I'm excited to breed her. Got to figure out who I'm going to pair her with. But um, yeah, so there's all the birds just hanging out, doing their thing, going in and out. The boys are, uh, you know, trying to woo the girls through the screen. That's okay. Get them all juiced up for breeding. Let the boys get nice and uh, amped up. Get some good babies. But uh, there's Big Red over there. And then there's Nosy. My Mussolini cock. He's a breeder. That's the Dykstra cock. So those two were, uh, with their respective pairs, gave me um, my best birds this year. So we're going to keep those pairs together. And yeah, so my next video will probably be this Saturday. I'll maybe set up some, get some time lapse of building. I'll set up the phone on the tripod while I'm working and getting this thing going up. Um, but baby steps. I'm, uh, I'm breeding a little later this year than last year. Um, my first round was ready uh, at a good time if I didn't live in an area with so many hawks. But um, so I got some time to get this done. I'd like to get this done by like the middle of November and then uh, get all the birds in it and get them used to it and get some some decent next nest boxes going in there and uh, do some proper breeding this year. But all right, everybody, take it easy and until the next video.